this is Pam Smith with Farm Journal Media. I'm with Mike Helmer from Pioneer, and we're outside of Ivesdale, Illinois, near Champaign and Monticello area. Mike, uh, what's your title? What do you do for Pioneer? I'm the area agronomist for East Central Illinois. Okay. Tell me about crop conditions here. It's been a little dry, I know. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've been out the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, we're at the 150 bushel stage, and we're going down considerably every day. Uh, pollination hasn't been too bad for the moisture and the stress that the corn's been under, but the nighttime temperatures are really causing us to abort, abort a lot of kernels. So we have a lot of noses in this corn, and that's really what is contributing to this smaller yield potential. So farmers, uh, we've been at a field day today. What are they asking you? What are their concerns? Um, you know, they're looking, I, I guess they're looking for products this year that have more drought tolerance. They're, they're interested in the um, products that are handling the stress. They're interested in our drought research that we're doing and with the two new hybrids that we are um, uh, giving to the, or putting on the market on Aqu Aquamax hybrids, our drought resistant corn. Um, so uh, they're kind of interested in those products that are performing well under these stress environments. Uh, we haven't talked about soybeans, but uh, the soybeans I saw looked pretty good. The, the soybeans from the road are, were looking really good last week. Now, uh, late last week and early this week, walking into those fields, we're starting to lose some pods. So wa the, the water stress where we are under, um, we're starting to see the effects of soybeans too. And soybeans will handle the, the drought. We are starting to get to the stage we need some water for these beans. What about insect pressure? Anything there? Uh, insects have been uh, held off at bay. We haven't had a lot of uh, insect pressure. The disease pressure uh, this year, we got a new uh, disease that is showing up, Goss's wilt. Uh, it's a disease that, that is prevalent in Iowa, in Nebraska, and Kansas. Um, even with that, uh, the Goss's wilt being present, and we have full positive IDs on Goss's wilt. It's not a, a disease that's taken out our crop. Our main concern is the drought, the nitrogen deficiency that we're seeing out there. Yes, you can see some goss as well. It's a new disease for us. It is moving east, it's something we're gonna have to keep our eye on, but the real issue is the drought and heat stress that we're getting. All right, thank you very much.